different political systems in uh, after 7th century uh, BC. Uh, definitely, Athens became a model, yeah, the Athenian democracy. It was so shining as a model that even uh, strict representatives of uh, a very conservative monarchy, like Alexander I, the king of Macedonia, we are very much attracted by the Athenian democracy. And they had built relations with the city of Athens and uh, they had invited uh, Athenian teachers to teach in Macedonia or uh, artists to create there. Yeah, it was a model, a model. And uh, later when Philip II uh, decided about the education of his uh, son Alexander III, who is known as Alexander the Great, uh, he invited from Athens Aristotle and uh, built a certain school in which isolated Aristotle with his son and all the royal youth, all the boys of uh, the same age with Alexander, 13 years old. And this is how these uh, boys were initiated to the classical culture. Aristotle created in their mind a model of an ideal city called uh, Athens. Now, when Alexander started building cities, he became the number one city builder of the world. All had the same model, and that model was the idealized city of Athens created in, in his mind by his teacher Aristotle. And this is how uh, the classical culture was spread so quickly in the whole Mediterranean world. How many Greek city-states were there at their peak? We have uh, all through the first millennium BC, from 10th century to 1st century BC, more than 1,000. More than 1,000 from Spain to Middle East, from Northern uh, Africa to Russia, Black Sea. Yeah, we speak for a lot. Uh, Greeks were very much compartmentalized. So we are all here and uh